Okay, as promised, here is my chili, my red chili sauce recipe. Cup of sea has got Californias, got guayillos, some arbols, which are these little hot ones right there. And on top of that, I found some really decent um, ch chipotle, dried chipotle. Most of the time, they're just emancipated and dry, but this one's actually got some moisture. I'm going to put it in there, too. I've never tried it, but I'm going to on this one. Uh, anyway, chop these. I'll show you. Open these up, throw away the stems, throw away the seeds, and then put it in, that's like four cups of boiling water, turned off, cover, let it steep for an hour or so, and then we'll show you how to make the rest of it. Okay, this is red chili sauce. We'll be back. Okay, he's cut these down the middle like this with these, with these scissors. Snip them in little bitty pieces, and these seeds here, just, just throw them out and pull out the veins, and you don't have to get every seed out. Just get out most of them because these these things will not only make it bitter, but they make your make your chili sauce really hot. So I don't use them. I've never seen anybody who does use them, but this is how it's going to be. All right, we'll finish up and we'll be back. Well, years ago I used to make this stuff, and uh, I would I would just put the whole chili in there whole, but. I found out if you, if you chop these up into these little pieces, it ends up cooking a lot better. Anyway, uh, that's it. Go, go buy the rest of the stuff. Now they got to get more stuff like tomatoes and onions and things like that. All right, we'll be back. Try to keep this under 15 minutes. The recipe's on uh, the blog. I'll put this on uh, YouTube also. So we'll be back. Okay, I've added the peppers to this boiling water. I'm going to cover and turn the heat off. And I'm going to let this steep for probably an hour. <laughs> anyway, you can go up to two hours. It doesn't really matter. Let it kind of cool off. It'll cool off. Leave it on the hot burner. Turn off the heat. Let them steep. Then go do what you want for an hour and a half, two hours. The recipe says an hour, but two won't hurt either. All right. We'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This has been in this pan for about two hours. I had to go to town and get these wonderful fire-roasted diced tomatoes. And I had the Mexican oregano, and I had the fennel. I mean, not fennel, the... Uh, Cumin, but I'm fixing to put these peppers and this margarita maker, and then we're going to grind them up to a puree. And then we're going to do onions and garlic and Mexican, um, all this, all this stuff here. Anyway, it's on the recipe. Uh, we'll be back. Okay, this is where you want to go change into something that you don't care if it gets messed up. Because this stuff in here will stain everything it splashes on. I cover it with this here paper towel, I mean this dish towel, and I pulse it until it gets to going, and then I can run it. Well, I can't do it all because I only got one hand to use, and I got to put a hand up here and run the switch anyway. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, the recipe says three or four minutes, but in actuality, it's probably closer to 30 or 40 seconds. I'm going to change that recipe on that because you don't want to turn You grind it too long, you turn it into a froth. You don't want that. So that's probably 30, 40 seconds tops. So anyway, this is ready to go. Now I'm going to do the onions, the garlic, the tomatoes. I'm going to toast this, this cumin. I'll show you how to do that. And we're on our way. All right, we'll be back. Okay, one more thing about this sauce here. If, if you've got a countertop like that's natural got grout in it this stuff will stain and you ain't getting it out i'm telling you be careful all right anyway let's see what am i doing here oh onion you can leave it in a pretty large chop there's four cloves of garlic chopped up pretty big because we're going to run this through an immersion blender i got this pan let me turn that heat up a little bit there we go i got this pan i'm going to i'm going to toast off these uh oh what's the name of this i keep wanting to say fennel cumin I'm going to toast this cumin. I'm going to put it in this meal. I'm going to turn it to a dust. Onions, garlic, as soon as they're fragrant and soft. Tomatoes, cook the tomatoes down. Add the, add the, the keep wanting to say fennel. Dang. Add the, the cumin. Grind it up, add it. Got the Mexican oregano. We're going to be making some chili sauce. That goes in and last. It simmers for 30 minutes. All right, we'll be back. Okay, that's one tablespoon of roasted in the pan. Cumin. Now it's ground to a dust. If you can't, if you want to do this, just buy cumin in the jar. It ain't as good, but it, it's close. Might have want more use a tablespoon and a half. Anyway, this fresh stuff is really great. All right, we're gonna start, turn this on. Get this thing hot. We're going. We're gonna start cooking it. All right. Oh, don't forget the olive oil. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I put the onions in here so they let off a little bit of juice and got soft. I got the garlic in there. 
I put in some salt, which I got a salt grinder here. I use kosher, kosher salt in it. And then I put in some black pepper. Now I'm going to add these tomatoes. Hear that? Oh, that's the sound of goodness. All right. Now what you do is you, you heat these tomatoes up on high. They'll start to break down now uh, maybe 10 minutes or so. They'll start to break down. When they do, I'm going to put in that. Then I'll add this. That's a cumin. Let these break down just a little bit. And we're going to simmer all this. And then I got an immersion blender. I'm going to blend it for till it's, till it's a chili sauce. Anyway, uh, we'll be back. Okay, these tomatoes now, they've stewed or simmered or whatever you want to call it for about five or six minutes. Now I'm going to strain this stuff here in, into there. And just pour some out. And then I'll just, after it drains down, I'll run a spoon through it, like this. Yeah, see, just like that. And we'll strain her down, and then I'll be back to get it all in there. I only got one hand. All right. Okay, this is just part of what was left over. This is all of that pepper pulp that was ground up in that margarita maker. Now, it's, it's in here now, strained out. I'm going to put in a little bit more salt, just the, just the seasonings, and some cloves, and let it simmer for, in the oregano, let it simmer for 20 or 30 minutes. You can freeze this. It'll last three or four months. I'll just put it in rubber or whatever, Tupperware, rubber made or whatever, and it freezes wonderfully. All right, this is about it. I might be back one more, so we'll be back. Okay, this here is an immersion blender. It ain't expensive. I think I paid like... $20 for this thing at the local grocery store or Walmart or somewhere. It's, and it works as good as a, there's the $90 ones. I've had it for, I don't know, five or six years. And I use it a lot and it still works. It's got a little old blade. I mean, it's got everything you want. It's it's just a little good, a little old immersion blender. I'm going to blend this. i got about 10 or 15 more minutes simmering. Fill up these things. Put them in the freezer. And, hey, that's it. All right, I'm going to post this. Because you don't need to see me fill these up. Everybody knows how to do that. And you know, this thing is just, just through there until it turns to a, a a sauce. And hey, we're done. You can use your imagination. I don't have to show it. I got 15 minutes and I got to talk fast. And I get confused out of breath. And sometimes I just stop and forget what I'm, what I'm saying. All right. This is it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back. Okay, I just thought I was through. But I was thinking, what kind of show would this be if I didn't show you the final product? Look at this. That's all those tomatoes and onions and garlic and everything just turned to a beautiful, beautiful sauce. You can use this for everything. You want to make like cowboy chili, you know, southwest chili with the beans and the meat and crackers and cheese. That's, this is it. This is this places your your... Uh, one of these. Make a big old pot of chili. This replaces any chili powder. Use this as the chili powder replacement. You can do it over ch grilled chicken. Put this sauce over the grilled chicken and serve it with rice and beans. And I'm telling you, there, there's any, there's a hundred things you can do with this. And on top of enchiladas. So get creative. Think about what you can do with it. This is a wonderful, wonderful sauce. It will replace chili powder every day of the week if, if you want to make it make it that way it, it doesn't matter even even it, that right there my chili powder it's the same thing just with water all right this is it i'll be back another day goodbye